G'day, it's Ninja here. I've got uh, my mate Jarek here. It's one of the superstars of MMT. Just want to um, do a little bit of little, 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 little. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's staying in. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I just kept it going. Oh, 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 I did a little one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do more. 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 i Okay, yeah, so I'm born and raised in Melbourne. My background is in the Philippines. Um, yeah, so I went back there in the Philippines early this year and it was a really great experience. My um, dad's side of the family, he, they own a farm. We have got a family farm. We have, you know, coconut plantations, rice fields, banana fields, the whole lot. And just yeah. going back there, it was, it was just, it's just a simple life, you know, you get away, you get off the grid from, you know, being in the hectic, like, grind, grind, go, 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 in the hustle, in, the hustle mm. in Melbourne, you know what I mean? And it can get a bit overwhelming or too much. So again, you're going back there and just, you know, you just want to just live there, you know? Yeah. You, we, live, we live off the land, you know, we um, just share and connect with my, my cousins and my aunties and my uncles. And I think everyone should, you know, really, connect back to their roots. You yeah. know, like that's the way we should have lived like that before all the all the tech and all like, you know, all the grind mm. and stuff. So yeah. that's, yeah, it was really, uh, I really loved my time when I was there. Yeah, so it was a really good experience for you. It really shaped you and your perspective going forward. Yeah, to go, yeah. To go back, you know. Yeah, so. to go back in, in, into, into your roots, you know, you know where you come, come came from. And I think that's important as a, as a person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So and I know that you're a, Big basketball fan, you, huge. You, you love playing. So love tell playing. us a little bit about basketball. What, what does it mean to you? So, like basketball. Growing up playing basketball, um, I pretty much took it like a way of life for me. Like ball was like, you know, I loved it. You know, and it teach it taught it taught me not only the the movement type of things. Like again, it has you know all the aspects in terms of um, movement. So that's you know quickness, power. You know, hand, left, left left hand, right hand, the eye hand eye, eye hand coordination and that type of flair and that grace towards the game, and yeah, it just it, the life lessons it teaches. You know, you got to be you got to be you got to be disciplined. You're turning up the training, you know, and um, you just put in the work. You know, obviously, it's just like anything. You're not going to get any better if you you know don't put in the work. You you want to do something, um, and obviously the results will eventually come. Mm -hmm. well, I suppose it's a team game as well, so you've yeah. got to know your role and, and yeah, kind of yeah. lift others up and things like that as well. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's sort of very dynamic and, and like there's a lot of other things like the spirit of the game and, yeah, and poise and kind of knowing, kind of reading the play, things like that as well. There's, yeah. there's so many different aspects to the game, isn't there, I suppose? So yeah, yeah, that's, shared, huh? that's huge. Like, and again, going to the role aspect again, I played as, I played the one position, the point guard, so I had to take that leadership role and you know get the boys in and like all right this is the game plan we're gonna we're gonna make sure we execute this nice. you know so um, and then going from the point guard position I turned into coaching so that was another another aspect of the game where I can help the youth build up their fundamentals and you know have the certain morals and ethics to you know as they grow up so they can carry that into their own life you know that comes onto you know turning up the training so I was really hard. At, it might have been really hard on the kids, but you know, like they're, they're probably you know grown men right now. You yeah. Know, so yeah, they're benefiting from it now. The, yeah. The lessons they learn. The lessons they learn. Yeah. 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 Cool. And uh, here you got some pretty good hops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hops. Yeah. The hops never leave. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got some good uh, <laughs> slow mo footage. I cut that in right now. Box jumps, yeah. Box jumps, yeah. yeah. That's my chin, yeah. 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 That, was, that was a spontaneous workout, yeah, yeah. you know. Like, you guys would jump, so I'm like, hey, can I jump? Yeah. Let me join in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was, no, yeah. no lead up to that, there's no practice. And nah, nah, no, no. No practice. No practice. We're talking about practice. <laughs> <laughs> practice? Yeah, we're talking about practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice? We're talking about practice, man. We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. 
We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. Um, we call him the man. The answer. The answer. Yeah, yeah. Alan Iverson. You got the question, I got the answers. Oh! <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Anyway, so you're a practitioner here as well. You're very passionate about treating and yeah. um, rehab and things like that as well. So what kind of areas of the body do you like? Treating and what sort of aspects of treating you like, you know, the personal sort of stuff as well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm real passionate with the body and how the body works and moves and functions. And um, this, it, this, the principles in, in MMT really resonates with me. You know, the clean first, build second. You know, we want to, we want to plumb it out, have a clean slate, and then build up the body. You know, using, you know, the deadlifts and squats that with that really strong, powerful foundation. So we're able to have a a functional pain-free life. Um, my areas I like treating is the lower body and the hip area. You know, low, um, a lot of people can have sore backs or aches and niggles in their hips, you know, due to like lots of sitting down we do in this day and age. So fixing the corrections there can obviously help them live a pain-free life. Mm, sweet. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So if you resonate with this man, the answer? Yes. Huh. Hook us up. <laughs> <Thanks, buddy. laughs> yeah, come on. Come on, damn. Do it.